This is a demonstration on how to create a student roster report in SIS or Aspire for teachers of Nebel School District. To access the Aspire login page, start with the, at the Nebel School District homepage and click on the Employee Homepage tab. And then over on the right-hand side, <coughs> click on the SIS Web Access. <coughs> and then the Login to Aspire SIS button. Here is some information on your SIS or Aspire login. Your username is your SIS four-digit number preceded by the letter F for faculty. For an example, an example would be F1004. If you forget this number, you may be able to get it from your school secretary or from Kim Hudson at the district office. Your district, your excuse me, your Aspire password by default is set up as the last four digits of your social security number followed by your four digit birth year, so that'd be an eight digit number. After you've um, accessed SIS or if you wish to sync this SIS password to your other Nebo passwords, you can do this from the district home page. In the upper right hand corner of the district home page, there is a link that says my account and then click on change my password. And since I'm not really changing my password here, I'm just making sure that all the password for all of my accounts are synced together. I'm just going to enter my password, an existing password three times. And then when I hit submit, <coughs> I will get a confirmation that all of my passwords have been uh, they're not really changed, but they've been synced together, including my SIS password. So in the future, after I've done that, when I log into Aspire, I can use my email or my Active Directory password. Once you have successfully logged into Aspire, your home page will look something like this. You will have a little link for each of the schools in which you are enrolled uh, as a teacher. To create a report, I'll go up to up to the upper right middle right and middle of the page, excuse me, and click on reports. Now I will select the report the report that I want to generate. I'm going to select class roster. Notice that I have other options and I'll let you explore those on your own. And I'm going to select the school where I want to pull the the roster from and then select the teacher and then I'm going to select the formatting options for my report. Um, right, The SSID will always be on there. I'm going to include the birth date since that will be the Active Directory login before it's synced to the student accounts and I'm also going to select their email. If you're going to print the report you would want to generate the port as a, as a report as a PDF. If you want it in a spreadsheet, you have the option of reporting it as an Excel spreadsheet. I'll show you both options. Here I'm going to generate this report as a PDF. And you'll notice there's my report right there. The disadvantage of a PDF is that you can't copy and paste one column from it. You wouldn't want to export it as a, a Excel spreadsheet or as a Google Sheet if you wanted to do that. So let's look at that option really quick. So if I go down and generate a report as an Excel spreadsheet, I would generate the report. If I save it, I can open it with Microsoft Excel if I have that on my computer. If I don't have that on my computer, I can still save it as a worksheet and then upload it to Google Drive and I can convert it into a Google Sheet. You can contact, uh, I'll have a, an additional um, tutorial on converting uh, Excel spreadsheets into Google Sheets. Right now we'll just look at the roster that's done and that should give you all the information that you need to help your students in the computer labs.